Your friendly neighborhood YouTuber is rated PG-13. Parental advisory, explicit content, viewer discretion is advised. Don't touch that dial, motherfucker. What's up comrades? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber and we are back on this beautiful cold ass day. Don't let the sun fool you. It's fucking cold out man. Fucking cold. It's a Saturday. Saturday morning. I just got off of work. Worked a late night shift and uh, I'm here at Walmart man. We're on another toy hunt. Of course, I'm looking for uh, some Predator figs, um, the ones that I passed up last time on my last toy hunt. Um, I'm always looking for more DC figs. This store is a little bit up in the air because I don't really know. I, I really don't know what the... I think I've been in this store a few times and I... Yeah, man. <laughs> That's all I can say is yeah. I don't really know about this store, man. This, is, it's, this one is kind of a coin toss right here, man. Uh, sometimes I'll find stuff, sometimes I won't, but nonetheless, um, we're going to go in here and see what we can find. So let's try to make something happen. Okay, guys. Yeah, they do have some Predator figs, man. I'm actually going to pick up one for 10 bucks. I'm going to give it a shot. Why not? I kind of like this one. I'm going to get this one. So, okay, kind of find what I was, I kind of find what I was looking for. So, the toy aisles everywhere are just empty, man. Especially after the holidays. But look at this, they actually have some new Marvel Legends, man. They actually have Frogman here. They have Peter B. Parker. They pretty much have the entire, well, not the entire Stiltman build a figure wave, but pretty close to it. They have four of them. They have Miles. They got Prowler. Peter B. Parker. Some figs I don't really want. I don't really want to collect the wave. But yeah, it's surprising that they actually have this here, dude. This Frogman is interesting, dude. But I don't really need a Frogman. He does look pretty interesting, man. But yeah, this is a wave... Jeez, excuse me, I'm talking here. Gotta interrupt me. Yeah, it's cool seeing those figures, guys, but it, that's a wave that I'm not really looking for. So, all right, Ghostbuster figs. All right, let's check out the NECA aisle. Let's see what they got over there. Got some giant size Marvel zombies for 30 bucks. Okay, guys, so I'm back home. <coughs> so, <coughs> excuse me. So I did pick up the Predator uh, figure. Shut up, motherfucker! Shut it! Um, okay, and uh, yeah, man, uh, I wanted to pick this up. I passed on it my last toy hunt. I had regrets. Picked him up. I wanted to do a review of this guy, see how awesome he looks. Um, see how awesome he is. He does look pretty awesome for a $10 Predator. That's not too bad. Um, that's what I found at Walmart. I did find a few movies. Batman Beyond. Triple feature has the Batman movie, which is an awesome movie. Uh, the Batman Beyond Return of the Joker, which I do believe I do have the Return of the Joker uh, movie somewhere. And I, I and uh, Batman Mystery of the Batwoman, which I might have that one too and i did pick up another five film <laughs> collection action movie awesome action movies next of kin patrick swayze tango and cash kurt russell steve steve uh, not steve russell kurt russell under siege unknown liam neeson and the last boy scout so i kind of passed it up for like 10 bucks man all right so that's what i got so i'm gonna go head out do some more toy hunting and stay tuned for a review because i'm gonna be doing a review of this so by the time you guys see this toy hunt video, this guy will, will, will already be reviewed. There you guys have it. I'm tripping over my own words. Got to cut back on my crack. So let's go 
out and do some more toy hunting, shall we? Hey, what's up everyone? It's your friendly neighborhood YouTuber, guys. Okay, so we are here early at Target. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning. It's a Monday morning. Just got off of work, working the late night shift, and uh, it's the perfect time to come to Target, man. Um, I'm going to see what I can find. I don't have no idea what I'm going to find. Hopefully I can find some new uh, DC Batman figs. Hopefully I can uh, um, uh, finish building this Bane Build-A-Figure. <laughs> And uh, I got a good feeling about today, man. I think I'm going to find some good stuff. Knock on wood. So, there's the target. Let's aim for it. Let's go. Well, I do have this two-pack right here, which I've seen before. Alright guys, so um, I found that uh, Scream NECA figure, but I actually bought the Meagle, the cloth figure. So I'm not really looking to buy him. It was cool to see him in person, but I did pick up the two-pack, so that's a, that was a plus. Save the data options that fit you. Like shared and unlimited yeah. options that you can mix across lines. Oh, and Xfinity Mobile is the only wireless network that lets you switch up your data anytime. Okay, ladies and gents, we are on the road again. We are about to pull up into this Walmart, guys. It's a Walmart over by my house. They really never have anything here. But, you know, today I feel like going into this Walmart because I feel like... I feel like they might have restocked. I just have a feeling that there might be some good stuff in here. I got a feeling that there might be some DC figs in here. I don't know about Marvel Legends. They never have any Marvel Legends in here, but I feel like they might have some uh, in, in NECA too. They never have any NECA stuff either, but I got a feeling they might have some good stuff in here, guys. So let's go in here. Let's see what we can find, shall we? We got plenty of Godzilla, King Kong figs. Got this giant alien here. Scooby Doo figs. John Cena. You can't stop me. Wait a minute. Isn't this supposed to say you can't see me? Star Wars. Transformers, Power Ranger, I'm looking up on the top shelf, they always have like new stuff on the top shelf so make sure you look for that, let's see, Alright guys, um, looks like nothing in the toy section. Um, as I thought, <laughs> I thought I would get lucky and find something, but nah man, it's uh, pretty empty over here. So let's have, head over to the NECA section and see what they got. Alright, Warhammer. First time I've seen Warhammer in, in the uh, in stores. Of course I did a review on this guy before. Star Trek. Mm -hmm. 
Wizard of Oz. That's about it, guys. Nothing. All right, it's a bus. It was a bus here. Let's get up out of here. Hey, what's up, everyone? Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed my little toy hunt. So, I picked up a few figures. Some figures I've already reviewed, and one figure that I have not, which I will be reviewing after this video. Finally, finally, guys, I got Phage. Um, I did not actually find him on my toy hunt because he was really difficult to find. I remember seeing this guy when he first hit the shelf and I passed on him and then later I decided to build this Venom Pool. So finally, finally I have the freaking legs to Venom Pool. So I've reviewed, I've reviewed every single one of these figs, man. So when I do this review, um... This will be my next review. I'll break out all the figs from this wave, do a little bit of a comparison, maybe which ones I liked the most and which ones I liked the least. Uh, awesome that I found this guy <laughs> because for a moment, as you guys know, I've been trying to build this uh, phage for, excuse me, this Venom Pool for months now. So it's been really difficult finding these Marvel Legends, especially after, hol after the holidays on the shelf because there's really no new Marvel Legends on the shelf. And this is actually not new. He's been out for a while. I was pretty close to using these Bane legs right here <laughs> for Venom Pool so I can have some freaking legs for Venom Pool right here. So unfortunately they don't peg in, but that's how they would look right there. <laughs> um, and I'm slowly building this Bane. I've got a feeling this is going to take me forever because uh, I was lucky to find uh, Omega in my last toy hunt. Um, and that was the only figure that I found in my last toy hunt. So, But yeah, I got Phage. I had to uh, go to a third-party seller to actually find this guy because I couldn't find him in stores anywhere. So stay tuned for a review of this guy and finally a review of Venom Pool. Thank Jesus. <laughs> Thank Deadpool Jesus. Okay, and then the last two figures um, that I reviewed, or one of the last two figures I reviewed, this Nightwing and Red Hood, if you guys didn't see a review of these of this two-pack, check it out. Highly recommend this two-pack. This is an awesome freaking two-pack. Didn't think I would like it as much as I did, but check it out, guys. There was that, and also, I already did a review of this guy of the uh, $10 Lenard Predator. Um, really great figure for $10, guys. So, if you like Predator figs, I don't think you'll be disappointed, so I was able to find this Predator Awesome pickup, and there was my little toy hunt, guys. A um, couple of figs, I found my toy hunt. One fig that I didn't, had to get them from third-party seller on uh, online. But yeah, it was a good, uh, it was a good week, and uh, these are the new figs that I picked up. If you guys didn't see uh, any of those reviews, check them out. But this one will be my next review. All right, guys, tell me what you guys thought of my toy hunt, my little toy haul. Just so want to thank you guys for watching in. I'll catch you guys in the next review. Peace out.